Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Our update for Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note. Uh, guys, we got a great offer going on on Wednesday over at DocSports.com. You can receive any of my daily packages for 50% off Wednesday only. The uh, This offer ends at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific on a Wednesday night. Again, you get 50% off any of the daily packages of your choice. You want my college basketball for Wednesday? We've got four plays for Wednesday. Uh, we're going to talk about those in just a minute. You get 50% off. You can also get 50% off my NBA package. I've got NBA uh, for Wednesday along with the NHL. Want 50% off all three packages, all three sports? Go get all three packages, all three sports, 50% off. Daily packages, 50% off. Wednesday only for me at DocSports.com. There is a code word. It is EPIC50. E-P-I-C-5-0. Epic 50 will get you 50% off as many of those daily sports packages that I just mentioned that are taking place on Wednesday. And again, the offer ends at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific on Wednesday night. So be sure to go grab that on Wednesday morning over at DocSports.com. Uh, what we've got going on for Wednesday, I've got, as I mentioned, four college basketball plays. It is now at that time where we finally get those systems that come up each and every year. And some of these go back 30 years uh, in these conference tournaments, two plays fit a situation that's only good for game one for a team's conference tournament. That's two of the plays. We've got two other plays that factor in with teams that have not been faring that well, uh, but they come on in the conference tournament. So there's four plays in all, uh, two from each one of those two systems, and we get into detail in those systems, in the write-ups, all available. And uh, so far, one of the systems Happened to be a winner. Only one so far this season. That was on the Drake Bulldogs. I think it was this past Friday uh, when they got a win in cover. So these systems are just stuff that's been working for many, many years. One of them is like 31 and 12. Uh, you don't want to miss out. Anyway, that's what's going on on Wednesday College Basketball. Four plays, including all four sides broken down over those two systems that I mentioned. And again, those will be in detail uh, in the analysis in the write-ups when you, when you grab those packages. Got NBA going on Wednesday, looking to bounce back from last night's ugly loss with the Chicago Bulls. I do have Wednesday NBA. I do have Wednesday NHL. We passed last night in the NHL. We're back in action on a Wednesday. And again, you can get 50% off each of these packages on Wednesday by using that code EPIC50, E-P-I-C-5-0. Don't miss out. Now we're going to get to the free pick for Wednesday's college basketball tournament action in just a second. But I wanted to comment on the trade uh, made by the Giants and the Cleveland Browns yesterday, sending Odell back, uh, Odell Beckham, I should say, uh, to the Browns. I mean, it was on paper a steal in favor of the Cleveland Browns. We do know that. The Giants weren't going to get to the promised land anyway uh, with Beckham on the roster. But I think as a Giants fan, you would hope you got more than what you did uh, in this transaction. Uh, but the odds adjustments all over the place, up and down the Vegas Strip. Most books had the Browns around. 25 to 1 before the trade, most adjusted down to 14 to 1 and 15 to 1 after the trade was confirmed. Uh, and most books had already taken Cleveland Browns money. It's one of those teams that gets action uh, around Super Bowl weekend. People come to town, they party, they watch the Super Bowl in Vegas, they plunk their money down on certain teams. Cleveland Browns, you know, some of the books already got uh, some of the money on Cleveland even before this happened. But again, adjusted from around 25 to 1 down to 14 and 15 to 1. But as reported elsewhere, there was one book in New Jersey. They stood pat. Uh, they had the Browns 30-1 to 1 before the trade. They've got the Browns 30-1 to 1 after the trade. Maybe they'll make some adjustments over the course of this week, but that's where they stand right now. Uh, you do have to factor in Kareem Hunt being a Cleveland Brown along with this trade made uh, to get Odell Beckham, obviously. Uh, Going to have a coaching staff, which they didn't have under Hugh Jackson. You've got the fine young quarterback, obviously, and Baker Mayfield who really started to show his worth when they did make the coaching uh, change last year. But here's the thing, man. I, I kind of agree more with that 25-1 to 1 area. Uh, I don't want to have to count on the Cleveland Browns yet uh, to knock off the Patriots, to knock off the Kansas City Chiefs, maybe even the L.A. Chargers when it comes to the AFC. And listen, I, I know Pittsburgh has dropped off a lot as far as the odds are concerned. They were in that 14-1, you know, 15-1 to 1, 15 to 1 range. They're down to 30 to 1 as we speak after Le'Veon Bell takes his leave and takes off and now signs with the Jets. And of course, you've got the Antonio Brown factor. He signed with Oakland uh, just in the last couple of days. So Pittsburgh has kind of fallen off the cliff in public opinion. 
But listen, I mean, you look at what they did last year, and remember they didn't have Le'Veon Bell anyway, and they had the dysfunctional situation with Antonio Brown. Uh, we don't want to dismiss his talent as though it means nothing because it does. But still, you're talking about a team that just missed the playoffs, yet they were 15 points away from a 14-2 and record. They had the tie with the Browns. Three-point losses at the Saints and at the Raiders and home against the Chargers. Five-point loss to Kansas City. You add it up, you're talking about 15 points from a 14-2 and record. Uh, just win a couple more of those games. You have 11 wins on the season, and you get to the playoffs. This year, you look at their schedule. Obviously, you have the divisional games home and away. And then outside of the division, you've got home against the Bills, home against the Colts, home against the Dolphins, all three of those winnable. You've got the Rams at home. That'll be tough. And the Seahawks at home, obviously tough. Road games at the Cardinals, the Jets, the Niners, the Patriots, and the Chargers. Three of those games on paper look winnable, although Le'Veon Bell will probably have his Jets team motivated to knock off the Pittsburgh Steelers. But again, you're looking at great potential, I think, for a 10-win season. And we'll get to wins totals and all that down the road a little ways. But again, I, my whole point is I don't want to have to count on the Cleveland Browns uh, being able to knock off these teams that are in front of them right now. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean Pittsburgh is in front of them, but that is a team that I think has been uh, knocked down a little bit about their perception for the upcoming season uh, by the public. So anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. Yeah, great move for the Cleveland Browns. Uh, they're really building well. Uh, they don't have to worry about the Hugh Jackson coaching staff any longer. Uh, Baker Mayfield looks like he can handle the NFL level, all that good stuff. Good running back now, good receiver now. Uh, but the bottom line is, is I just think they're still a notch below Kansas City and New England, maybe even the Chargers. Baltimore is going to drop back in that division. We do really feel that with Lamar Jackson at quarterback. But the bottom line is, is that, uh, again, I can't put my money on Cleveland at 14, 15 to 1, at least not yet. And I agree with that book in Jersey who kept it around 25 to 30 to 1. Uh, anyway, just a brief thoughts on the NFL and the trade that happened with the uh, the Cleveland Browns and the New York Giants because I've had a few people DM me on Twitter asking about my thoughts on that, and there they are. Uh, we will get to our free pick in just a moment for Wednesday's College Baskets, but again, don't miss out on that 50% off on my daily packages, NBA, College Basketball, NHL, on a Wednesday, that code word again, Epic 50, Epic 50. All right, free pick for Wednesday, College Baskets. We're going to back Rutgers plus the points over Nebraska. Listen, I know Nebraska got that win last time out against Iowa. They played a decent brand of basketball in Lincoln as that one was played. Uh, but really, the, the final score, the outcome of that game doesn't tell the entire story. The Hawkeyes led that game by basically six to seven points the entire second half. I mean, 40, 45, 50 seconds to go in the game, Iowa's up by seven points. They blew it down the stretch. They started making mistakes. They missed free throws. They missed shots. Give Nebraska credit. They played hard right to the bitter end. They go to overtime. They win 93-91 in OT. In the game, the Hawkeyes and Fran McCaffrey should have wrapped up in regulation. They don't have depth, Nebraska. They've got the injuries. They've got a suspension now. That lack of depth has been well chronicled for over a month. Uh, they had three players in that last game against Iowa, talking about James Palmer, uh, Glenn Watson, Isaiah Roby. Those three combined for 73 points on 26 of 51 shooting, including 13 of 24 from behind the three-point line. Watson is a 34% three-point shooter this season and last season combined. He goes 7 for 12 from area code 3. Just one of those games, man. You had three players who got incredibly hot. They didn't have to rely on any depth. They don't have any depth. And they were able to come back because Iowa made a ton of mistakes in the closing minute. Nebraska gets the win in what's probably Tim Miles' uh, home finale as coach of Nebraska. This particular game is not in Lincoln, and we look for Rutgers plus the points uh, to get the victory, but we'll take the two for insurance. Rutgers plus the points over Nebraska, your free play on Wednesday afternoon. Don't forget about those daily packages. Four college basketball plays on Wednesday, one from the NBA, one from the NHL, and you can get 50% off of each one of those daily packages by using that code EPIC50, E-P-I-C-5-0, on Wednesday. That offer ends, of course, 11 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday night, so be sure to go grab it. All right, folks, if you like uh, these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. We're right back here Thursday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific.